I just want to kill myself. I'm fed up. I'm angry. I'm disgusted at the world around me. I'm, I'm flabbergasted by what's going on. The, the, the religiosity of this world has pushed me beyond the brink of a capacity to understand and accept what's going on in this world. I just want it to end. I just, I cannot stand it anymore. I just, I don't want to deal with it anymore. I don't want to turn on the TV. I don't want to listen to the radio. I don't want to go out the door and see what's going on because it drives me frigging out of my mind. But I love this life. I love everything about this life. Well, obviously not everything about it, but I love the spring. I love plants. I love gardening. I love seeing life. I love seeing the animals. I love seeing happy people. I love the music. I love my daughter. My daughter. My daughter is, well, if anything were to give you a reason to live, my daughter is a reason to live. The funny thing is, I'm an atheist. I don't have a God. I don't see any purpose in life. I see no grand plan. I don't see any reason for life. Life just is. And I accept that. I'm frustrated and I'm angry. I'm very conservative. I recycle. I recycle everything. I don't throw very much away. I don't eat very much meat because I don't believe we should eat animals the way we do, wholesale. People don't understand it's a living creature that was killed in order for you to have a hamburger. I am frustrated. I'm angered by this world. But I don't want to leave it. I want to stay here as long as possible. Now, some people I can understand wanting to leave. People who are in constant pain, day and night. Pain so severe, they cannot sleep at night. They cannot eat because all they experience is pain. That I can understand them wanting to leave this world. But others, I don't understand how you can get so far to forget how wonderful life really is. How you can become so desperate and so full of despair and so fed up. I mean, I can say I want to kill myself. And, you know, that's a lie. I don't want to kill myself. One, I'm, I'm too chicken to kill myself because, you know, I, I, I don't own a gun. I don't like guns. I would never have a gun. And knives, I, I just... I've stabbed myself with a knife. I would not want to kill myself with a knife or poison. I know people have killed themselves with poison and I just, I just, uh, yeah. why would you want to do that? And then just, there's, uh, the whole idea of killing yourself really is hard for me to accept. And I know it's, it's, it's not a funny thing to say I want to kill myself, but I think most people on occasion get to the point where they just, I just want it to end. I'm, it's too much. I can't stand it. And we get over it. We, we, we have our, our moment of, ah, and we get over it. And that's perfectly normal. But a lot of people don't get over it. A lot of kids don't get over it. A lot of teenagers have constant torment in their lives that they don't ever see that they're going to get over it, that they don't ever see that there's going to be an end to the torment. And religion is the base of a lot of that torment. A lot of LGBT teenagers, teenagers who are still struggling with their sexuality, are harassed, harangued, abused, beaten, and, and just knocked down so far that they can never see a normal life where it isn't going to be hard. And that's religion doing that to them. 
that is somebody saying God says you're a bad person and God says you're a sinner and God says you need to change. And if you're gay, you, you, you're not going to change. You can't change. I mean, it's, it's, you're, it's what you are. You're gay. I mean, anyone who's not gay, who thinks gay is a choice, go ahead. Be gay for a week. Find somebody of the same sex and have sex with them. Go ahead. It's a choice. You can do it. It's perfectly normal. It's a choice, right? So, those people come down hard on on gay kids and, and, and people who who haven't quite got a hold on their sexuality and they've lost sight of how good life is. And even their parents have caused them to lose sight of how good life is. And life is good. Life is wonderful. Life is life is fan fucking tastic. I mean it's 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 I mean I can look at days that I think this is I can't believe how good life is on some days. And then some days I can't believe how life how bad life is and I, I just I just want to crawl in a hole and die. But you know, I get over it. Most people do. But some people don't. Some people crawl into that hole and they don't know how to get out. They're stuck there. And they're stuck there by everyone they know, including their friends and family, who have decided that God has determined they are bad people. And that is why I feel despair. That is why I feel disgusted by this world. People like that. People who just find the need to claim their God, their God which is made up. It's made up God. Nobody's seen. Nobody heard. God is not real. Sorry. <laughs> they have determined that their God has determined somebody else is wrong. They're a sinner. They're against God. They're whatever bullshit that they have decided that somebody else is. But the whole concept of sin is a concept created by man to condemn others. And it's bullshit. It is utter bullshit. It is disgusting bullshit that people pull. Life is wonderful. Life is great. Life is fan-fucking-tastic. But not all the time. It's got this dark periods. And I occasionally have mine. But you get past it. Next is wonderful. And I, I wish I could tell people who are in the dark place, that are huddled in that dark place and don't know how to get out, that those people who are condemning you, those people who are making your life horrible, they don't matter. They don't really exist. They are nothing because you are everything you are all that's important you are all that matters because in life i mean we are who we are and we really need to focus on the fact that we are responsible for our own happiness and letting others destroy us is useless because other than, you know, some maniac killing you, and which, you know, unfortunately, there are maniacs who can kill you, and they're frightening, and uh, you can't always avoid them. But other than them, you can be beaten down, you can be crushed, you can be a lot of things, but it's always better, eventually. Uh, and I know eventually is a precarious word, because eventually is tomorrow, next week, next year, 10 years from now. Who knows? But every spring, I marvel and I joy and I love. Well, every day I love. I mean, every, every time I see my daughter, I love. I mean, I just, it boggles my mind how much I love kids. Well, don't take that the wrong way. I love kids age appropriately. Kids are wonderful. I love kids like I love, you know, 
well, little people, I did not that kind of love. So stop, stop whatever you're thinking. <laughs> but life is so full of wonderful things. Hell, a good glass of scotch is a wonderful thing. If you like scotch, yeah. <laughs> I do on occasion when I'm sick. Um, but anyways, life is wonderful. Life is grand. Life is fantastic. Not all the time. And yes, life can be hard. Life can be difficult. Life can be frustrating. Life can be infuriating. Life can be despicable. And life can bring you down to the point where you cannot stand it anymore. But stand it for a little while longer. Because life does get better. Next minute could be better. You don't know. And that's the trouble is, once you truly give up, you don't know what's coming. I mean, how many stories have you heard of somebody giving up and the next second their savior comes, but it's too late. So never let it be too late. Never give up. I know those are empty words for some, but those are the words I have to give. Anyhow, I am Tom, your friendly neighborhood atheist. And I love life, but man, is it frustrating. Don't give up.